My name's Kyle Baraclough, and I'm the founder of Libertad Apparel. Uh, it's travel clothing that doesn't look like it. Stylish stuff for the road. About the time that Michael announced they were doing this program, uh, at this store university, it was about the time that I was really struggling with writing copy for my website. And I'm building up towards crowdfunding. And everybody's telling me, you've got to have a good video. And you know, they have to come to your website and leave their email address and all of this stuff. And it all comes back, well, how do I do this? Well, you've got to have a good story. I had identified a real deficiency in, in my ability to kind of tell a story. My background is as a salesman. And... Uh, a lot of people would think as a salesman that I would be very good at storytelling. And I, I'm not going to say that I'm bad or anything, but I was in such a corporate environment. Uh, it was extremely strategic, very, very straightforward, and it was direct, and it was um, very much problem-solution-oriented. What can you tell me in eight seconds? You know, stuff like that. And I was successful in doing that. But after a career of that, it was, it, you know, it was not about connecting emotionally. It was about building relationships and offering solutions. But now that I'm a founder of a, an apparel startup and uh, communicating the message of my brand, you know, going into that from being, you know, saying everything in eight seconds, um, that's where the deficiency was, emotional connection and really kind of explaining that side of things. My experiences, particularly the failures in connecting with people, um, really made me ask myself why and really showed the deficiency in my pitch that it's not about the, the, the capabilities of, of the clothing that I'm wearing, but uh, it's, it, you know, that's part of it, but there's much, much more. And it's this emotional connection and there's this way of being, telling this story that, people, that captures people's aspirations and things like that, which is in such stark contrast to everything that I've ever been taught, which is sort of identify a problem and offer a solution. Coincidentally, there was this acting uh, company just doing stuff every Sunday and I went to them and I told them this story about how I was trying to tell a story and I couldn't and I wanted to develop this capacity and it was in that class that I saw you know in really starting from going from the ground up building a foundation that I'm like there's a lot to this so I got into storytelling and I started searching storytelling on online and that's where I found Michael and the Get Storied program. I read his free book. Uh, I started following him on Twitter, and he'd, you know, he'd tweet all these little concepts out, you know, this and that. I'm like, oh, that makes sense, and I was applying it to my background. And during this time of following him for like just a couple of years, I started the, the apparel company, and I started to really appreciate and just understand how I needed to communicate you know, I was encountering probably some people would really grab onto what I would say. Other people would be repelled by what I had to say. And I had to, like, develop the capacity to know why. And, um, you know, in this world that we live in, there's a, there's a solution for everything. And I just don't think that people uh, – I don't think people are really wowed by the solutions you know, there's an answer to everything, and it's everybody's fingertips. They can find an answer to everything on their phone. So offering a solution, big deal. You know, that's a given. You want to be in business, you have to offer a solution to somebody's problems. You have, Now, in these days, you have to go beyond that. So that's why I'm in this course, is I have to, I have to show them why, you know, there's more to it than some really cool clothes. I think I'll just come back to this thing that Michael keeps talking about, which is the bottom line is this uh, possibility uh, obstacle framework. Instead of talking about problem solution, you need to sort of set your mind to the possibility obstacle point of view. Uh, that's the biggest thing. So much selling on the internet is this uh, is identifying what's your hair on fire? What's the hair on fire? issue that you can bring up. So when somebody starts reading your, your web page, they're like, oh my gosh, I have to solve this problem right now. My hair is on fire. I, I'm here, where's my credit card? You know? I couldn't, you can't do that with, with my shirts. I mean, I guess, I suppose maybe you can. There's probably some brilliant copywriter out there that can really do that. 
but I think it's so short term, you know, and I think that, I think if you, if you produce agitation in people, they're going to associate that agitation with your website, with your brand. And that's what I started to fear that my brand was going to do if I had identified some hair on fire kind of solution or, pro- or I should say hair on fire problem. You know, I, I, I don't want to produce this kind of agitation. I want people to be thinking, I look really great in that shirt. I don't stink in that shirt. You know, I've got a trip coming up. I want, you know, I'm going to see if they have a new model, a new color, you know, because last time I traveled in that shirt, I, I looked and I felt great. I came to the Story You uh, pro, uh, program a little bit of a blank slate. You know, I was being fed what's in the marketplace, this, you know, problem solution kind of thing. I don't, you know, I, I, I'm uneducated in this area, so I couldn't tell you why. I just knew something was off. You know, um, I, I had experience in, in the marketplace as it exists. It was working to an extent, everything that I was doing, but not well enough. Not well enough. So I was looking for something more. I was looking for something better. And I was looking for something that I could build a brand on, not just sell a shirt. So coming to this possibility obstacle framework, um, when I heard it, I'm like, here's something that can be long term. Here's something where I can really create a brand out of. You know, I, I, my goal is to create a company here that can last.